Hello YouTube, in this video we are going to talk about the term aesthetics in the context of bodybuilding. What does that mean? It's something that you've heard a lot and it has become a niche part of bodybuilding that actually has a lot of people following it. So in the purest sense of the term, aesthetic is the way the body looks, right? Whether it's bad or not, whether it's pleasing to look at or not, that's what aesthetics look. Um, at first, the term was used to describe um, architecture. There are, there are certain types of aesthetics, um, but in the bodybuilding community, it refers to a very specific type of physic, which is also known as the Apollonian physic. So it's a body type with narrow hips, wide shoulders, a good V taper, usually lower body fat, um, smaller legs, um, and a very Superman-like physique, where the body really has that V shape. And you could argue that the physique part of bodybuilding is mostly focused on aesthetics. Now, with the way things have been going, the size has been sort of taking over and even certain type of categories and shows that were supposed to be aesthetic have shifted towards guys with massive legs and massive arms. But on YouTube, if you type aesthetics, you will find guys like Jeff Side, you will find guys like David Lee, men who are usually tall, usually taller than six feet, and who have very low body fat and very Apollonian proportions. I personally don't have anything against that type of physique. It's not for me. And there are multiple reasons why. The first is because even if I wanted that physique, I couldn't achieve it. Personally, I have narrow hips, but my waist is quite wide and it's much wider than my hips. So the V taper isn't really there for me. Um, it, I just can't pull it off. Also, another reason why is because I have very short collarbones, so I look very stocky and I have narrow shoulders. I will make another video about that and many videos about the topic because I'm not the only one, right? And we'll still want to look good. But that V taper physique is not something I can attain. It doesn't mean that I don't think my body is aesthetic. It doesn't mean that I think that the only people who can attain an aesthetic physique are people who subscribe to the exact definition of aesthetics that I gave you. This is rather the accepted term to describe the type of physique that we can also call Apollonian and that I like to call Apollonian. So what is the opposite of the Apollonian physique? Well, the correct term is the Herculean physique. So you have Apollo on one side, you have Hercules on the other. Hercules was said to have a much stockier build. He wasn't small in size, but he had a wider waist, a blockier waist, bigger abs, and especially his limbs were much bigger. So he was much more uh, bulky in a way. This is more the type of aesthetics that I aspire to. One, because I think it's cooler and also because I sort of have to play with the cards I was dealt. Um, I, if I lost a lot of weight and I got very lean, it just wouldn't look right because my waist would trim down, but not to the point where it would be uh, in line with my hips. So it would look strange. I would have big shoulders and then a very trim, a uh, very big waist and then narrow shoulders. It would look strange. So for someone like me, I will always be at a higher body fat because this is what fits my type of aesthetic. And I hope that if you're watching this uh, and if you don't fit the exact criteria for an aesthetic physique, you can still find a type of body that you want to achieve. Um, if you really like the aesthetic physique, then by all means pursue it but you should regard yourself uh, objectively and look at your features. Can you pull that off? Is it possible? A lot of people will tell you, we'll talk about ectomorph and mesomorph. To me, there's no such thing because these are finite categories and the human body is not finite. You can evolve wherever you want to go, but your evolution will be impaired or added 
by your natural genetics, your natural frame and physique. Which doesn't mean that you have to subscribe to that if you really want that V taper, that, that small waist, go for it. Absolutely go for it. But if you don't, this video is for you because I want to make you understand that any aesthetic out there is valid. It might not look good to anyone or everyone and the aesthetic that we see on YouTube fitness with very lean guys, etc., might always stay the most preferred type of aesthetic physique. It will always be called aesthetic. And if you talk to a bodybuilder, they'll tell you that's what aesthetic means. But don't be ashamed or afraid to pursue a different type of aesthetic if you like it better, right? Or even to just accept the fact that there are certain looks that you won't be able to pull off and to focus on what makes you look better, which will make you feel better. So that's it for the video. Uh, I personally believe that any type of goals regarding bodybuilding is your own, so you do what you want. If you just want big legs, get big legs. If you want big arms, get big arms. But at the end of the day, there are certain types of looks that we like that for some reason, as a culture, as a species, we find more appealing and we gravitate towards. If you diverge from that, if you're not in the norm, it's going to be a rather rocky road if you want to be considered aesthetic. But to me, at the end of the day, what matters is, do you like what you see when you look in the mirror? Because that's what bodybuilding is. It's crafting a vessel that your spirit is going to enjoy being into. So that's it for today. Aesthetic is a very interesting topic. So if you want to discuss it in the comments, by all means do it. Uh, have a very good day and keep pursuing your type of aesthetics.